I flew 2,000 miles across America to test drive this, the Waymo full self-driving taxi, and compare it against Tesla's full self-driving system. But first, a little bit of context. For those of you guys who don't know what Waymo is, Waymo is a full self-driving taxi company owned by Google. They use the Jaguar I-Pace for their self-driving vehicles, and they've been working in the San Francisco area to try and make robotic taxis to replace Uber drivers. And on the other hand, Tesla, the full self-driving EV company that has revolutionized the car industry. For better or for worse, that's up to you to decide, but these cars have taken over the entire United States. Everyone owns one. Your neighbor has one, your wife has one, your wife's boyfriend has one. All of them probably have a Tesla. Last December, I flew from here to San Francisco to just go on vacation, enjoy some nice tourism stuff, all that stuff. And while I was there, I decided to do some car spotting. It didn't go as I was planning. I was expecting, you know, these multi-million dollar hypercars, all this stuff. But I did see quite a few nice things, but nothing on that level. I'll put some clips here. Driverless self-driving taxi in that white Jaguar. One. <laughs> And then there's one here. Presumably it'll go. There it goes. Christmas M3, Christmas WRX, Christmas Civic with underglow as well. Whoa. I have no clue what this is, but it's cool. First Ferrari of the trip, a fate right there. Beautiful. Casual BMW M8. Beautiful. Honestly, beautiful. F8 Spider red on tan. You can't go wrong with that spec. Right, so. Look to your left. C8? Oh man. But one thing that I kept noticing was the Waymo. The Waymo full self-driving taxi. I believe I spotted somewhere around 150 Waymos through my entire six day trip in San Francisco which is crazy. And quite frankly, I didn't want to miss out on the fun. So I called a taxi and I gave it a shot. There it is. Unlock, I can unlock the car from my phone. Uh -oh. Let's see, let's, let's get some pop music on, see what they got. <laughs> oh, there's people at the thing. <laughs> okay, it handles it. <laughs> and it's in two lanes. But oh my god. Damn, Waymo. <laughs> this thing. Oh god, that is a sharp turn that it just did. Oh my. Why is its turn signal? Oh, it's is that a cruise ship? Cruise ship? It's oh, trying to go in the. Like... Oh man. So the Waymo and the, and the Tesla system are both very aggressive systems but in their own ways. So like the Tesla system probably wouldn't do something like that, whereas the Waymo system would, but the Tesla system will still just punch the car upon acceleration. Okay, it's trying to go in this lane now. Let's see how it, oh, that would be interesting actually. Oh my God, it's not gonna do the lane change, but it is. Oh, what's it? No, no. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? This Waymo is a complete just douchebag. Okay, let's see what it does. Oh, it's cor okay. It corrects itself now. It's trying again. Let's see. Will it get luck this. and just go behind this Camry? Come on, Waymo. Come on, Camry. God. Nope. nope. It, what's it doing? Why? Are we... Oh my god. Alright, there. <laughs> this guy in a Volkswagen. Alright, come on, come on. Go behind the Audi. <laughs> nice. It did finally, it somehow. Finally, it did it. Man. That's really impressive. Oh, God. And I have to say, this is a great car to do this whole stuff in. A Jaguar, comfortable Jaguar at that. I mean, it's electric, quiet. 100% this would be a good car to have. Oh, wow. Oh, we're pulling over. We are done. We're done. That was it. Along with that, a month prior to that, in November of last year, a few relatives of mine picked up Tesla Model Ys with full self-driving, and they let me ride in it. They let me, I guess, sit in the driver's seat and let full self-driving drive. And to say it was an experience is, quite frankly, an understatement. Now, both these are self-driving vehicles, obviously. 
but they have very different experiences. Obviously, the Tesla's database is through the entire United States, even some foreign countries, such as, I believe, the UK. In comparison, the Waymo's data coverage is a lot smaller than that. I believe the city that it covers is San Francisco, Mountain View, which is where Waymo's office slash Google's office is, Arizona, and I don't even know any more of them. But those cities, basically the metro cities of the Southwest, are Waymo's main data coverage. So they both have very different driving expertises, I guess it would be the best word, driving personalities, things like that. On one hand, the Tesla, it accelerates very quickly. Like it feels like it's basically flooring the car at every single green light, but the turns are very smooth in that car. In comparison to that, the Waymo, it doesn't accelerate as quickly. I think part of it is because the car that they're using is a Jaguar I-Pace, it doesn't accelerate as quick as the Tesla. But on the other hand though, it does drive much more assertively. It does try to cut people off a bit more is what we noticed. And it definitely does tend to drive like a typical San Francisco, California driver would. By the way, if you're from San Francisco, California, don't get annoyed with what I'm saying. Trust me, I'm not a good driver either and I live in the South. Now, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been talking quite a bit about doing a robo taxi type of thing to rival Waymo. Now, would I say that you should do that if that ever comes out? instead of Waymo? I don't know. Now they both have very different experiences. I spent limited time in both cars, but I do have to say, the Tesla does understand the rules of the road a lot more, like the general law books, while the Waymo, it definitely understands what a normal, traditional driver would do. So essentially the Tesla sticks by the rules a lot. You can adjust it so that it does tend to go a bit faster, but the Waymo does have a tendency to drive like a driver would, like a normal human driver. So to wrap things up, or if you just kind of fast forward it to the end, the Waymo is definitely a lot more of a, I guess, human driver, if that makes sense. It makes decisions that a normal human would. It would do things that a normal human would do, which may not be the smartest things, but it's what other drivers would expect. While the Tesla is a lot more robotic, it does what you tell it to do and it'll do it. Whether it's speed, whether it's make a turn, it'll do that, but very, very robotically. So in that case, you got to choose between having what you would expect in a traditional taxi, which is a human driver, or a robot. So it's definitely a question of do you want a human or a robot driving? And I know a bunch of people are going to say they're, they're both robots. Why are you calling one a human? Because one drives like a human, the other drives like a robot. So yeah. And just like that, today's video is in fact over. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. And if you like what you're seeing, leave a subscribe. And just like that, I'm out. I don't have either car, so I can't ride in any more of those taxis anymore. I'm kind of sad about that. Peace.